Hey everyone, it's Ken from Kentastic Cakes and the Taste of Home Cake Crate. Uh, as you can see, we are not baking today. Uh, it can't always be about the dessert, right? So today, we're actually gonna do one of my favorite things in the world, hibachi. Uh, it's one of my favorite foods to eat. I love going to the, the, the hibachi restaurants. Uh, my kids always grew up calling it cook at the table restaurant. Uh, and then I, I was, I bought this grill for the summer, sort of uh, a Father's Day gift my wife and I got for myself. Uh, and it has, it's a half, half of it's a grill, half of it's like the flat top griddle, and it's perfect for doing my own hibachi. So I did this uh, last week, uh, and I just did it live on Facebook for friends and such, and it, it worked out really well, so I figured, hey, maybe you guys like hibachi. Maybe you guys wanna see something a little different. So we're gonna show you how to do it. But so if you look over here, we've got my weapons of mass destruction. We've got some veggies going. We got some nice, we've got some steak, some shrimp, some chicken cutlet there. My daughter eats chicken. She doesn't eat shrimp or steak. That's for my wife and I. Uh, so we got the chicken. We got the zucchini and carrots and onions, peas and carrots that are gonna go in the fried rice that we're gonna make. So I got my my rice right here this is uh, actually leftover sushi rice i had made some sushi uh the other day we had some friends over for dinner uh basically what we've been doing this summer because so much is not happening this summer with you know with with everything going on with covid and such uh even you know our daughter's summer camp was canceled for the summer so we're trying to keep things exciting and we decided every saturday we're having some friends over uh we're doing a social distancing family movie night and potluck dinner uh, we purchased a projector and an outdoor screen so every saturday night we show a different movie and we, people bring food and it's been really fun so far so, but anyways we're gonna do some hibachi uh definitely as usual leave comments below like this video please subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already uh and i'll probably indulge ask you to indulge me and i'll talk about a little bit about uh, a taste of home cake crate in the middle so let's get started of course, right off the bat, my cooking spray thingy broke the other day, so, so we're gonna get it nice and hot. And we're gonna start with some rice. And because this is sushi rice, it's not the like typical fried rice rice. Uh, it's a little sticky, and it's been in the fridge for a while, so it's gonna have to sort of cook a little bit we'll break that up we'll let that cook down add some more on there probably don't need it all and you may hear my dogs in the background and you probably see them they they, they fight pretty rough This is not something I do on a regular basis, obviously. This is just, you know, because we just got this. So, a little bit, it's a little bit of experimentation. You know, I've been to the hibachi place certainly more than enough to know what to do, whether it's done the right way or not. You know, you know. Trying to break up this rice a bit. for a minute in the corner. I'm gonna add peas and carrots to it. I'm gonna add a little soy sauce to it.
hope everyone's having a good summer. Even considering everything that's going on. Now you can't see this, but my dog Bella is on the other side of the grill, hoping to get some scraps or something. The egg here, I had actually whisked it up earlier. Oh, I love this griddle thingy. Why? This flat top is just so good. It looks so fast. I got, it. I got my new spatula nice. this morning, so it's like, it's like, it's like true hibachi. Oh, no, no. I don't want to do it with this knife today. Someone will get, someone will get cut. It is cooked, and now it goes in with the fried rice. I may have scrambled eggs tomorrow. <laughs> Look at this fried rice. Ellie's been asking for fried rice. This is Ellie. Wait, you live streaming? Nope, I'm, this is my YouTube channel oh, okay. for my A Taste of Home Cake Rate. I'm just doing something a little different. All right, so fried rice is gonna cook for a little bit. I'm gonna add a little bit more soy sauce, I think. That's actually the Why end of the bottle. Why are you bottle. recording each time you make hibachi? Well, because last time I did it for Facebook, and this time I'm doing it for my YouTube channel. That's all. Give them something a little different to look at, right? It's so hot at home. The grill doesn't even need to be turned on. The sun will take it off. Hey, you're not wrong. Okay. So, next, we're going to spray down a little bit more. We're going to get the veggies on and we're gonna get Ellie's chicken on. What the hell is this? You don't do that when I'm recording. You know I'm recording. Why would you why would you ask a question? Like that. Huh? I know but you don't know what where I am in please don't do that. Alright, right, so here's Ellie's chicken. On. We're also going to throw the vegetables on. And one of the one of the best things about hibachi is the volcano. So we're going to do that too. I set this up already a little bit ago. Hopefully you can see that. Uh, yeah, you can see that, right? A more pieces. I'm assuming people have been to hibachi. It is literally my favorite food ever. And if you're not sure what they put in the volcano to make it light up, there's a little bit of vegetable oil and a bunch of vodka. Light it up and hopefully it lights. So it's on fire. I don't know if you, how well you can see it, but there it goes. Rock and roll. That's what I'm talking about. That's hibachi. So, uh, Cut up some of these vegetables a little bit. It's kind of big. So for those of you who follow me regularly, you know about a Taste of Home Cake Crate. It's a it's a monthly subscription box of, of homemade, from scratch, uh, baked goods that I make that I ship to your door each month. Uh, it's awesome. People that have gotten it love it. Um, there's a bunch of YouTube channels that. Uh, unbox it each month 
so you can definitely search them out and I'll actually list a couple of them in the description. Um, it starts at $40 a month uh, and if you go to one of their YouTube channels to watch their video, they all have uh, their own discount code where you can save uh, when you order. So you should definitely check them out. Uh, or you could just go to mycakecrate.com and get the information for yourself and, and give it a try. So we're gonna give these veggies a little bit of marinade. This is my teriyaki that I make. Um, and I'll, just my own sort of secret, not, I mean, it's really no secret, it's just a basic teriyaki sauce. That's nice. Nice, nice. I love doing this. And it's so exciting for me to be able to actually do my own. So, uh, Taste of Home Cake Crate, we just celebrated our first, our one year anniversary, so that's kind of exciting. Uh, we're happy to be doing it, we're happy it's, it's going well. Look at that, it's so close to the, to the flame, I actually melted the containers a little bit. So we're gonna move those away, just a tad. <laughs> Give a little bit of seasoning. I'm not gonna worry about the salt because with the soy sauce, it really just doesn't need any more. See that? Just in case you can't. So I got my, my vegetables look beautiful. Get the fried rice going. I'm gonna turn that a little bit. Uh, got the chicken cutlets to go in nice. Oh yeah, this is beautiful. Might be getting a little too cooked. Now, we're gonna get our steaks on. Couple of ribeyes. We also got some butter here we're gonna add to some of this stuff. Butter there. Gonna put a little bit of butter on the fried rice because that's what they do. Now, of course, when you go to the restaurant, their, their flat top's quite a bit bigger. So I'll just making do with what I got, but it's, overall it's working really well. And these steaks aren't super thick, so they shouldn't take very long. And, and we're definitely a, a medium rare sort of family. This is probably way more than we need for dinner tonight, but it'll be good for leftovers for sure. The only thing I'm not making with this dinner tonight, uh, that is actually one of my favorite things, I just didn't have time to get to find the right recipe and or get the ingredients for it, is the sauces that they give you at the table. Uh, there's like a, usually a ginger sauce and some type of 
creamy seafood sauce type of thing for the shrimp and, and such. And I love that, but I just didn't have time to, to get that stuff, so we're not going to worry about it. Butter. I hope you're enjoying this. I hope you think it looks good. Uh, I said that my teriyaki is pretty much just a basic teriyaki that I make. Uh, it's just soy sauce, must, uh, brown mustard, a little bit of garlic, and some honey. Pretty simple. But really, any teriyaki you want to use is fine. Put a little too much garlic on the steak, so we'll see. I mean, I'll like it. My wife's not as big into the garlic as I am. All right, so the steak's done. Chicken we're gonna cook up. I got the extra sauce on the on the flat top so that I can use as the marinade for the chicken, so that'll be good. I'm gonna start taking all this off, and then the last thing we're gonna do is the shrimp. Amazing what you can do for meals when you have like the, the right sort of setup. Look how pretty that looks. Vegetables look great. one small little bit of chicken because my daughter's pretty much the only one that's going to eat the chicken. Right. I'm just going to throw the fried rice on the end because we can. Oof. Look at that. That's a lot of food for three people. So hopefully you're catching all this. All right, so the last thing we got to do is the shrimp. Spray it down again. Normally I put them on a little neater, but it really doesn't matter at this point. Seasoning. And it's just a little bit of on, uh, 
onion powder, garlic powder. We're gonna use the same marinade. A little pepper. Hope everyone's doing all right. Hopefully you comment below. Hope you like this. Share it with your friends. Definitely would love for you to subscribe. My, my channel's growing a little bit. I'm at, I think, 69 followers, which is, you know, it's great. I been, haven't been doing this very long, but I'd love to get more. Uh, so definitely hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. Shrimp obviously cooks fairly quick. Again, we need a little butter to go on it. All right, a lot of butter. As well as just a little bit more of the marinade. Oh, this shrimp looks so good. Dripping. The dog is eyeing the platter of food. If I didn't just turn around at that moment, he would have eaten the whole thing. He would have knocked the whole thing down and gone to town. All right, so we're gonna let this cook just for about 30 more seconds, and then we're gonna be done. So I hope you like this video. I hope you'll subscribe. Uh, definitely come back for more uh, videos for a taste of home cake crate. Uh, probably the next thing I post. Uh, will be next week when I uh, package up uh, the June cake crate. Uh, if you haven't ordered the June cake crate, uh, I'm so sorry for you because uh, it's going to be epic. Uh, we're doing a pina colada cake in a cup. We're doing red velvet cake pops. The mystery item this month is baklava. Uh, and even if you're doing the nut-free option, uh, I'm doing a nut-free baklava for you. Uh, and then the cookie, quite honestly, between you and me, haven't actually fully decided on the cookie yet. I was going to do French macarons, but with the weather being so hot now, I, I really don't know that they're gonna hold up in, for travel, so I'm probably gonna go to more with just the standard type of cookie, probably something chocolate-based. But uh, today is the 10th, or excuse me, today's the 11th. Yesterday was the last day to order for June. Uh, you always wanna order by the 10th of the month to make sure you get that month. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope to see you again, and don't forget to subscribe and like. Take care.